special forces painkillers. I guess our little stunt helped some other civic-minded people raise valid concerns about community relations. Their faces said it all. I was on their side, but how could they know that? If they came through that door, I'd be leaving as a human shield and never leaving at all. Luckily for me, for once, the police arrived just in time. It sounded like all hell was breaking loose. Whatever nonsense De Silva had pulled, it seemed to be working. As few prisoners were trapped in here, more pressingly, seemed I was too. anti-drug squad had a few habits of its own. That kid had had the right idea. There was no point bouncing bullets off that thing. I decided I'd try to pick up where he left off. And then immediately regretted that decision.
wasn't this nice. The perfect end to a perfect trip. If someone had told me six months ago this was where my life was headed, I'd have ordered a double of whatever they were drinking, drunk it, then blown my head off. Another dark, rainy night. Another police station. Another futile crusade for amends. Time moves forward, and nothing changes. Every bastard in the joint must have known I was on the loose by now. I couldn't afford to waste any more time. Police food, the same crap the world over. But I could reminisce about the old days later. For now, there was more pressing matters to deal with. They'd come from the control room. It looked like the security cameras were still running. It looked like the prisoners were giving them a run for their money. That's what happens when you hand some roided up half with a commando uniform with special on the front and let him ride around his hometown in a tank playing soldiers. Sooner or later, someone's gonna decide he's not so special. There were a bunch more in the elevator tooled up like they were about to roll into Fallujah. And of course, they were headed my way.
If the heat was rising, that meant I was getting closer to the source. I had to keep moving. But the only friend I had left in that town... One thing I learned since being in Sao Paulo, it was that me and the local elevators were not a good mix. Whatever depressing fate lay on the other side of those doors, there was no point in putting it off any longer. <laughs> killed more cops than cholesterol and still no sign of Becker. It wasn't the first time it dawned on me I should probably have gone over the plan in more detail, but it was too late for that now. If I didn't hurry, Becker would be long gone. I still didn't know how I'd gone from drinking myself numb in New Jersey to looting corpses in Brazil. But this was where I was, 5,000 miles from a home I couldn't go back to on another suicide mission to clean up a mess that wasn't even mine. spent my career dozing off in the briefing room. Now wasn't the time. Você vai morrer hoje! 
it was starting to feel as if I'd never leave that place. Like one of those nightmares where you keep running and running only to discover you're chasing yourself. Tear gas. This wasn't good. I needed to find a way out of that stairwell and fast. My eyes and throat burned, but at least I could breathe. I was trying to work out what direction I was headed in when I discovered some more Brazilian architecture not designed for the American physique. There it was, the tape from the Bronco security system. Jesus, it was that guy. I had seen him in the favela, Bachmeyer, Becker's right-hand man. His time would come, him and Becker. I'd seen enough. It was time to bring this nightmare to an end. O seu dinheiro representa o seu futuro. Mantenha-o seguro com o Banco Boitatá para sua casa, o seu carro ou o seu negócio. Venha falar com Boitatá. Threatens to be the worst volcanic eruption in Ecuador for 40 years. The epidemic of violence that grips Brazil's major cities continues to worsen. On Monday, a massive gun battle between drug gangs and special forces police in the favela of Nova Esperanza left 150 people dead or critically injured. Mayoral candidates were divided on the reactions to the altercation. Camila Machado blamed the police force for acting without restraint and effective government oversight. Victor Branco, whose eldest brother was murdered last week and whose youngest brother is missing and is feared to have been an innocent victim in Monday's gun battle, issued a statement calling for more funding for law enforcement and vowing to stop at nothing to make Sao Paulo safe again. In Buenos Aires, the world's largest chorizo caused quite a stir.
couldn't get that tape out of my head. Why had Ufe killed Rodrigo? I wasn't gonna find any answers in the forensics lab. I had to push on. Hey, pal. Nice to see you. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I know who you are. Then you should have killed me in the office when you had the chance. There's still time, meu camarada. Still nothing to show for it. I felt like I was detaching. That maybe this was revenge for something else. Something buried deep in the past. It was a little late to be thinking about precautions. But something told me this shit show was barely through the warm-up act. Rodrigo, Giovanna, Passos, everyone who'd meant anything was gone. Like so many times before, I'd found myself alone, locked on a course of destruction. It was at my worst when I was at my best. Their body armor, I had mine.
Becker and Bachmeyer had taken their pound of flesh and sold it on the black market. Now I was coming for mine. Luckily, I wasn't the only cop with a pill problem. Confirmação do outro grupo, mas o gringo já deve estar tá morto agora. Senhor, ele não parece estar tá morto! Filha puta, pelo amor puta. de Deus! to interfere in things you do not understand. Oh, I understand plenty, asshole. How stupid can one man be? You're even crazy! Shot. I was gonna have to get creative. It was a waste of bullets. His cover was too good. Ugh.
going to walk away! Ah! Those ceiling tiles looked kind of loose. It was worth a shot. Why do you think you're not dead already? This was the passkey to Becker's office. I was close to the end of all this, and I could feel it. Becker! <laughs> Something funny about dying? I felt like the avenging angel. I looked like a fat, bald dude with a bad temper. You disgusting piece of shit! I know! Everything! Not everything, my friend. Let go of him, Max. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> There's a good fellow. Well, well, well. Victor, I was wondering when you'd reappear out of whatever slimy hole you live in. <laughs> I'd like to just say, Max, I just want to say thank you for all your hard work my family and for cleaning up that horrible mess with the Casha Preto for us. You know I'm tough on crime. I give you a bonus, but I think you just fritter it away. Becker, take his gun. Thomas, you feel the poop! They had barred the door. My only hope was to chase them down. I knew they'd be leaving town, and my guess is they would try to fly out of here. Rich people love to fly away. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> 